please subscribe. leveling for the Anycubic i3 Mega. Um, so uh, this website here, rctruckstips.com, uh, they walk you step by step setting up the probe, uh, the soldering, where to solder. Um, so this is just the, you know, what I use. I, I follow these steps. Now what I did have a problem with, probably about three days of trying to figure it out, uh, is the firmware update. Um, if you come down to this page, you have this drop up box I can go to. And I had downloaded the Anycubic i3 Mega Dual End Stops, BL Touch, hex. Um, how to edit the hex file, uh, I looked into and it looked pretty daunting. Um, I was trying to figure out how to do that. So, uh, but what that did do is by downloading this hex and flashing it to the printer, it actually was starting to do the probing. Uh, it would go to the first point, but the problem I was having is that my um, probe was not on the plate. Um, so what it's doing, it's zeroing from home position to the center line of the hot tip, which makes sense. Um, but the problem with that is that the probe has to be moved at a certain distance um, to get the probe onto the, uh, the, the plate or the, you know, the glass. So I'm going to back out of here. What you want to do next is go over here to the EUK Rob from Thingverse. I click on that. Brings you to this page. Um, this PDF is pretty helpful. It's not There's not a lot there, but it's something to read. Uh, what you do want to do is go here. For those of you who want to play with the firmware, the compiled version is here. So once you get here, you want to download What it's doing is downloading uh, the entire file um, for Marlin. It's the Marlin Bug Branch BL Touch folder. Once you have that downloaded to your desktop, these files are all in it. For Arduino IDE um, 2.0, you can try that. I didn't have good luck with that, kept hanging up on my Mac, so I went with this Legacy IDE 1.8X uh, here, or 1.819. Um, they look identical, so uh, it could have just been my computer. Uh, you got Windows, Linux, Mac. Uh, I have a Mac, so I downloaded um, you know, for my version here. Alright, so this is what the software looks like, Arduino, when you open it up. Um, I'm in 1.8. 19 is the one I'm using. Uh, once you're inside, you do want to go up to Tools. And this is where you could switch your board. Uh, and the PDF talks about this. You're going to go to Tools, Board, and then just change it to the Arduino Mega or Mega 2560. This is the board I have, uh, the 8-bit version, the Trigger Gorilla board uh, for the iMega 3. Once you do that, you're now going to go to File Open, or you can even use the tabs here, Open. You're going to go into that Marlin Bug Branch BLT Touch folder that you previously downloaded, and you're going to go into Marlin. You're going to scroll all the way down to see the Marlin INO file, which is right here, and Open. And then this new window opens up. And this is actually that file you're in. Up top, you're going to see all these different tabs. You want to look for the configuration.h. It's the only one we're going to modify. You're going to go down to the very bottom here, and you're looking for uh, the probing section. here. So you'll see like thermal settings, grouping, 
So that's the uh, grouping we're going to look for is the probing. Now this is all default for i3 mega. So if you have like mod mods like different servers or different uh, motors, that's totally different. Mine is stock, so I didn't change any of that. So this will work good for for me in this case. Uh, once we get the Z probe options, that's where we want to be. We want to make sure that the probing is on the touch, the BL touch. So right here, you'll see. Define BL touch. To get this to activate, you want to get rid of these two slash marks. So I'm just going to edit it, get rid of those. You'll see the word define turns like a goldish or a yellowish colors. That means now it's active. So the code will actually be red. Once we do that, I go down here. And define X probe offset from extruder. I want to set this to zero for me. And that's just because of the, um, the probe uh, thing verse uh, mount that I printed. Uh, these were the settings that worked best for me. And then for the define on Y probe offset, I went 40 millimeters. And that should move the probe onto the glass plate. Z offset, I'll save it. Uh, keep at zero. And that's the only thing I would change at this point. I mean, you can come in and modify later. But for now, that's a good starting point. Now we're going to compile. So I'm going to come up here. I can click this verify, but I like to save the file before I verify. So I'm just going to go up to save as or file save as. Or just save. Would be fine too. And then I'm going to click verify the check mark. Down here, you're going to see it start to compile. This blue bar, or the progress here. And then done compiling. So um, yeah, we, we should be good. I wanted to back up a step here. So we're still in the config h file .h. Uh, you can see down here, this is where you just edited the 040 on the XYZ probe offset. Uh, when you save your file, you want to save it to the Marlin folder. Um, once that's done, you can go up to the sketch. This sketch is where it turns it into a .hex file. So you go to sketch. You want to go to export compiled binary. And then it's going to compile. When you do that, you're going to get the uh, compile. Uh, going to go through its compiling again. And once that's done, Bada bing, bada boom, and there it is. Um, you want to make sure in the Marlin folder. I just went up here to was it view? That oh, was actually it was a view. Let me go back. Uh, sketch and then show sketch folder after you do the export compiled binary. I'm in the Marlin folder, and then I'm scrolling down to the bottom, and you're looking for this Marlin ino mega dot. Hex. That's the file we just compiled. You don't you don't want to use the bootloader one. Um, you can move this. I was I left it right where it was, uh, um, but I guess you could probably maybe move this file to your desktop when you go to flash the firmware. But in my case, I just went to the Marlin folder and grabbed this file. Per software, uh, after you've got the hex file that we were just talking about. You're going to go up to uh, settings, printer, manage printers, and that's when you'll click on update firmware. Once you do that, when you have your printer connected by USB, uh, which is important, this update custom firmware will be active. And you'll be able to click that, go into the Marlin folder. You're going to upload that .hex file uh, here. Uh, it'll take a little bit to uh, update, maybe uh, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, maybe tops. And then you can uh, test run the printer. I don't have my printer hooked up, so you can see I don't have access to it right now. Um, that's it. That, that should get you going. 
Another thing you do want to do, uh, possibly, is you want to back up. Instead of going to update firmware, this is after you flash the software and everything's running. You're getting your uh, five points. Uh, what is it total? I think it was nine points. Um, now what is it? 14 or 15 points here. And you can adjust that number. Uh, I, I did. I moved mine down to three points just to make things a little faster, but that's just customizing. You go to these machine settings. And down here, you want to add this M8851. I, I chose Z0. G29 is going to enable the auto bed leveling. M500 then flashes it and saves it to the firmware. And that's just calling this code up again every time you uh, go to print a part. You don't have to necessarily do this every time if you want. I chose to do every part. Um, but you do have a special menu that you'll be able to access within your printer and you can just do auto bed leveling there um, if you just want to do it once in a great while maybe not every part okay um, so hopefully that helps uh, hopefully I'll save you three to four days of uh, <laughs> painful agony like me um, but yeah it's pretty basic once you once you do this a few times you, you can mess with the firmware you know go into Arduino change some settings uh, reflash it and then the hex file that's the hard part, at least for me it was. So hopefully this helps. Take care. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.